Hey everybody, this is Scott. What I wanted to do is I wanted to share um, some different microphone tests with you. Now some of my most popular videos on YouTube involve different microphone comparisons. So what I wanted to do in this one, to sort of complement my professional iPhone video course, is share with you uh, how the regular iPhone sounds, so you can listen to that right now, and compare it to several different um, lavalier solutions, including a wireless one. So consider this to be the baseline. Consider this to be uh, an iPhone 6S Plus, no microphone, and I want you to listen to the acoustics. I want you to listen to the room noise. I want you to listen to the clarity of my voice. And, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the other microphone examples so you can compare all of them right in this video. All right, so what you're listening to now is the Movo Lav Mic. And you can see I've got it attached right here to my shirt. Now, I'm probably, oh, a little over three feet away from the camera. So you can hear the instant clarity improvement over when I was just uh, speaking to the uh, iPhone. Now, what makes this mic unique, in my opinion, is, is that it's so inexpensive. Um, you can find this mic uh, on Amazon. I'm gonna say $25 or maybe a little bit less, but definitely right around that price point. Now, the cord itself uh, is only about three feet. So I always recommend getting an extension uh, cable. And now this allows you to get a little further back from the camera, um, just makes things so much easier. But the key focus right here is the microphone quality itself. So if you're looking to improve your uh, iPhone videos, having a, a lavalier mic is the number one suggestion I have to make your videos instantly better. Now let's compare some of the other lav mics. All right, so what you're listening to now is the original Rode Smart Lav. Now this was the first um, lavalier mic that Rode introduced specifically for uh, iPhone, iOS, Android type devices. Now that's because it's a TRRS connection. That means tip, ring, ring, sleeve. So they're specifically designed for, you know, iPads, uh, tablets, and smartphones in general. Now, they don't make this one anymore. They, they upgraded it, and we're going to listen to the upgraded SmartLav Plus next. Um, I'll be curious if you can recognize an improvement. They did have just a little bit of a tweak, so you may notice a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit less hiss if you will. So let's listen to that one next. All right, so what you're listening to now is the Rode Smart Lav Plus. Now this is their newest uh, lav mic. Now I will tell you this is about an $80 uh, lavalier mic. It's a TRRS uh, lavalier mic. So it's going to work great with your iPhone. It's going to work with your Android device. It works with uh, iPads and all that. It's very small, and I find the quality to be exceptional. Um, I combine this with the extension cable so I can get really far away, and, and the audio quality is fantastic. Rode makes excellent equipment, and they do have a couple of accessories you may want to consider, including a, uh, it's a Y breakout adapter, so you can connect two Smart Lav Pluses to your iPhone. Now this is great if you're going to be doing interviews. So if I had somebody else here, we could both have our own uh, Lav Mic run it into the uh, Rode breakout box, if you will, and get some exceptional audio quality. So consider it for that. You may even want to consider it for recording a podcast. So um, again, compare the audio quality here to the original Rode Smart Lav and the Movo mic. 
So, uh, so those are some wired solutions. What I want to do next is introduce you to the Sony wireless solution. So let's listen to that one next. All right, now what you're listening to is the Sony UCM AW4. Now this is a wireless solution. And this is it right here. So uh, this is fantastic. Uh, the transmitter uses a AAA battery and the receiver that's connected to my iPhone uses a AAA battery. What I can do now is that I can get as far away as, I'm going to say, you know, 50, 60, 70. They say you can get even further. I don't like going much further. Besides, if you get too far away, all of a sudden people can't see your eyes. They definitely can't see your smile. So that sort of defeats the purpose. But what's great about this is that you don't have to be tangled up in wires. Now, one of the things you do have to have, you do have to have the um, some type of an adapter to connect the microphone to your iPhone. Now in this case I'm using a KB connection cable. You're going to find these any for anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars to be able to connect a regular microphone that's not specifically designed for an iPhone or an Android device to your uh, phone. So uh, I, these are definitely more expensive. These are going to run anywhere from $160 to $200 for the microphone. Tack on another $20 or so for the cable itself. So um, definitely a more expensive solution. But in a lot of situations, these are ideal. So I wanted you to be able to compare the quality of this solution and see how small it is on my shirt. Uh, and compare it to some of the wired lavalier microphones. Now, I'll let you guys decide which is best. Now, one other thing you can do when you have a wired, or I should say a wireless solution like this, is that you can connect an external uh, lavalier mic to it. So if you wanted the consistency of having a lavalier mic on your shirt like I have now, but transmit it wirelessly, well, then this becomes ideal. What's nice about this solution is, is that you will get, uh, I'm gonna say even better quality audio because you can have the consistency of the lav mic. Uh, you know, you can move it, well, we could move it even closer to my mouth. And then you could hide the external piece right here. You could hide it on your belt pocket in the back or something like that. But now you can get exceptional audio quality. So that becomes another solution. These are This is a really small uh, external lav mic. I want to say it was probably about, oh, I don't know, $20 or so. So then you still have to factor in the wireless unit, the Sony ECM AW4, as well as the KV connection cable or some other uh, adapter to go from TRS to TRRS so it connects to your iPhone. But, uh, but you know, then this becomes a solution as well. So uh, I'll, be, I'll let you guys be the judge on how things sound uh, to your ears. All right, so now we're back to just the regular iPhone 6S Plus microphone. So what do you guys think? Um, how do you think this microphone sounds compared to the Movo Lav mic, compared to the Smart Lavs, uh, and then compared to the Sony wireless solution? So those are some different solutions you can use. Again, I will tell you, I recommend using some type of external microphone when you're shooting your iPhone uh, video, uh, it's definitely going to improve the sound. A lot of it is going to depend though upon your budget. Are you looking at something in that $25, $30 range like the Movo units? Are you looking at maybe an $80 range like with the uh, Rode Smart Lav Plus? Or do you have a little bit more in your budget to where you can get into a wireless solution and avoid, well, all the cables. Uh, so I'll let you guys decide on the quality and the budget. But again, I recommend some type of external microphone, 
But again, the quality and the budget, totally up to you guys. Hey, thanks for watching.